battle has just begun! Hello, my sexies! Welcome to the Robotnik is Sexy Show. This is going to finally be a PU tier battle, wife of battle video on the channel. We finally overcome our demons. Um, I, it took me a long time to make a PU team that I was happy with, uh, a lot of trial and error, and that means, yes, uh, big losing streak, uh, building up to this video, uh, this is actually a rematch, well, kind of a rematch, um, Elaine, Elaine, Seinfeld, um, this uh, trainer uh, beat me before uh, when I was tinkering with Pokemon because basically what happened was every loss I would switch up a teammate until the team looked and felt like something I wanted to use I'm sure you hardcore trainers will be able to sympathize or understand or whatever anyway Elaine has a very, very good team, uh, and I've seen it before, I know what it is. Um, my team is mostly the same with um, some, a lot, well, bleh, 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 bleh. My team is, <laughs> my team is awesome, and this narration is not awesome. Um, let's get this shit started, let's get this show Let's get the show going. You know? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, this is the start of the battle. <laughs> okay, so Del Fox. Oh my god. Del Fox is so good in PU. Uh, and this is this is mainly because they fixed the magician ability in this generation. Uh, so it's gonna be kind of a rough, uh, rough, a rough, rough. It's gonna be fucking rough. Uh, I'm gonna lead with Del Fox. He's gonna lead with a Shadow uh, Arceus baby boy. Um, I switch into the Ghost Moon, predicting it, and then you turn on a. Pokemon that I s predict him to switch into, which happens to be Ferrisseed, so even though I led with the wrong type, um, I am having a pretty big advantage right now, matchup wise, so that's very good. Lantern is out, I'm going to go Fire Blast and miss, unfortunately. Uh, bleh. Yeah, that sucks. But we got Shenotic, even if it Volt Switches, that's okay. I am ready to take on the Pokemon he's about to switch into. And it is Scyther. Uh, Scyther is terrifying in PU. Um, I don't think it's necessarily ban or, uh, bannable or broken. Um, it's just very, very good. It's a very, very good PU Pokemon, and I don't have a lot for it other than Relicanth, which, oh my goodness, if you've seen my videos before, you know I love this Relicanth. This is my max speed, jolly, rock polish, stealth rock, <laughs> head smash waterfall set with leftovers. It is a dream, and I've been using it to win every RU match. <laughs> I've been using it in rarely used, um, and I'm using it in its actual tier, and it's still fucking amazing. Um, unfortunately, well, the only way to win with a, a PU Malamar themed team most of the time, at least a Trick Room Iron Ball set Malamar, you're going to have to fodder Mal. <laughs> so Malamar is going to make great fodder against the Sand Slash. That's actually really 
the turn of the match, uh, when I stay in and go for knockoff against Sandslash, um, you can, there's a huge shift in momentum, because now, so, well, first of all, so the knockoff, uh, coming off max attack did a, a, well, it did a lot. It didn't do a million, but it almost did half, and his recovery option is gone. Once I knock out Sandslash, um, the game's gonna open up pretty quick. Uh, because of my Relicanth. Uh, so that's really good. I'm gonna make a very nice play, just, uh, uh get my Delphox out there when Pharisee's trying to come out. I see what you're doing, I know what's up. We're gonna get Delphox out, and now we're going to get some Hex Justice. We're not only gonna land the Fire Blast, we are going to get the burn on that Lantern. Uh, so very, very nice. And now... We're gonna go for the Magician Power Herb Combo. Now, I don't know if you remember this, and correct me if I am wrong, um, but in Ores version, the Power Herb Magician Combo did not actually work. Uh, you would consume the Power Herb, but, but not steal with Magician, but in Sun and Moon, it does work. So, as you saw there, in one fell swoop, I consumed my Power Herb to Solar Beam, and then stole its leftovers, and now Lantern is pretty much worthless. And by the way, a uh, really, really fun nickname <laughs> on the Delphox. I trained this Delphox in X and Y version ages ago, literally years ago, uh, and it's never been more useful than in this battle. His team just cannot deal with Delphox, so I am tearing through his shit. Uh, Sand Slash, I'm I'm gonna kill you with Fire Blast. I'm gonna kill you with Fire Blast, Sand Slash. I'm gonna do it. It's just gonna happen. So uh, Scythe comes out. Delphox is just too important. So we are gonna fodder Malamar really effectively. Uh, foddering against U-Turn is extremely advantageous because I get to send out any Pokemon I want after he sends out his first. Uh, huge advantage. So now I can just go into my fighting type as he goes into his Doggo. I'm gonna go for the Bonehead fighting move as he fodders the Lantern, which is great. We're gonna go for that Circle Throw. Uh, this throw set you might remember it. Uh, it's uh, what I used in PU years and years before in that PU team on Showdown. Um, it's Guts, Sleep Talk, uh, Ice Punch, Circle Throw. Uh, Guts works with Sleep Talk, so it's, it's pretty strong. Do not underestimate Throw. He is a bulky bastard. So Scyther's out here again. Uh, Cole Kanth has to come out. He's gonna U-turn. That is fine. I'm gonna Rock Polish here as he brings in uh, a Pokemon, and that Pokemon is a Ferrisseed. The Ferrisseed, I'm gonna Fire Blast you. I, I told you, I'm gonna Fire Blast you! Now, going for Rock Polish here could be considered a misplay, uh, but it kinda doesn't really matter, and the turn of leftovers is fine. I'm gonna go for the much-needed Stealth Rock to weaken the hell out of that Scyther. Uh, and Scyther's a huge nightmare for me, so that's very good. He's just gonna go for the knockoff, not gonna go for Stealth Rock. I was very sure he was just Stealth Rock with Sand Slash or Ferrisseed. Just Stealth Rock with those Pokemon as soon as he could, but no Stealth Rocks are on the field for me. Uh, so after that knockoff, I'm just gonna go hard into Delphox, because like I said, I'm gonna Fire Blast you, Pharisee. It's gonna happen. Delphox is, uh, an assassin on the road, and you are the, the, the target. In fact, your body has a target on it, so it's, it's not gonna, we're, because of that, we are gonna actually land the Fire Blast and take out the Pharisee. I told you, Pharisee! The Fire Blast, it was coming. So, hey Arnold is 
just uh, suckling the teat of victory right now. It's a very, very, very nice, a good change of pace. It, it, it really, really had a tremendous losing streak leading up to this, and uh, oh, it is nice. It is nice to uh, just finally get a team in PU that clicks for me. So he's going to kill me with the pursuit. Props to him. That is a very cool kill. Uh, but Del Fox has done so much for me at this point that it's all right. I'm okay with that. Uh, especially since Ferris Seed is gone, we could just click Spore. It's a no drawback play. He brings out Scyther on the odd chance I go for not Spore. It's it's happening. Spore is here. You are damaged by the Stealth Rock. The game is in the palm of my hand, and that is exactly where I like it to be. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna get Relic Camp out. My leftovers has been knocked off, but if I can set up on it, that will equal good game. Uh, I am gonna go for a rock polish here, as he sends out his dog O Rough Life. Uh, nice nickname. We're gonna go for the rock polish, like I said, to outspeed the dog Pokemon. And now we're gonna connect the head smash. Very lucky. And it does a lot of damage. Now, now Stoutwind is dead to entry hazard damage, and that is perfectly fine for that. That is perfect. That's beyond perfect. Relicanth is gonna go down to a superpower. He weakens his own attack and defense by using it. Now I can just go into Scarf Kamala and clean up. He does have a Ghost uh, Arceus Jr. in the back, so I gotta watch out for that. We cannot go for the normal move. We're going to take it out with the Choice Scarf U-Turn, uh, Danny DeVito Kamala returning. Uh, really, I feel the piece I needed in order to uh, feel comfortable with a PU team. Just that really wacky Choice Scarf Kamala with Thrash. It's great stuff. So now Scyther Ding Dong is dead. Thank Arceus for that. Now he's going to go into this uh, Savali here, which is the Ghost Savali, and Ernie is well. It's he's a bulky motherfucker. Uh, I'm just gonna stay here, yes, and ice punch your face until you die. So it's a slow icy death for Savali, but that is a good game. Uh, a really really nice game. Um, I, uh, I saved all of my losses. I might upload uh, a few of them. Uh, <laughs> let me know what you think <laughs> if you want to see my humiliating losses uh, with, with uh, just coming up with a PU team on the fly. Um, yeah. And of course, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. I am... And a poker tour of old, the old days. I never quit. I never stopped. I'm still here. 2015, the year 2015. That's that's the year of the future. Just pumping out these Pokemon videos for you and mostly for me. And yep, that is a slow ice death. Thank you, Elaine, for giving me that match and letting me defeat my inner demon. Thank you. And on that note, goodbye, you two.